for this video, what I want to do is I want to use Boolean logic to help us identify sets that meet a certain condition. In case you're not familiar with Boolean logic, Boolean logic combines multiple statements that are either true or false into an expression that is either true or false. And we're going to use it with sets. And what's going to happen is if the value is in the set, then we have what is known as a true statement. If it's not, then it would be false. So we are going to, for the two examples that I have written down, consider the set of whole numbers from 1 to 20 inclusive. Inclusive means that it includes that value. So 1 and 20 are included in the data set. If it said exclusive, that means that it would just be 2 to 19 and exclude 1 and 20. All right, so the first one that we're going to do is we're going to look for the numbers from 1 to 20 that are even and multiples of three. Anytime it says and, this is the intersection. So that means that it's in both sets. So when you're setting up to find the one, the set that meets both conditions, you first want to start with looking at the numbers that are in each individual set. So let's start with even. So for even, what we have is the numbers two, four, six, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. So our even numbers that are from, that are between 1 and 20 inclusive are 2 to 20, just the even numbers. Multiples of 3 is the second one that we have. And a multiple of 3 just means that I can divide that number by 3. So I would start with 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and 18. Okay, so now what we're going to do is because we are looking for the intersection, we're looking for the numbers that appear in both. Okay, so we have a 6 in both of them, a 12 in both of them, and an 18. So the numbers that are even and multiples of 3 between 1 and 20 inclusive are 6, 12, and 18. So this would be our final answer. It's the set of all numbers, 6, 12, and 18 is what would make this statement true. All right, let's look at another example. We're still using the same numbers, 1 through 20 inclusive, but this time we want to list the numbers that are multiples of 3 or multiples of 5. Or is known as the union of two sets. Okay, um, and the union of two sets is putting those two sets together. So multiples of 3 we just discussed in the last one. So remember that this is the set of numbers 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and 18. And then multiples of 5 is anything that's divisible by 5. So we would have 5, 10, 15, and 20. And when you have 3 or 5, so we're looking for the set of numbers 3 or 5, we're going to put everything that occurs in each of them. So I would have to have the 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, 12, 15, 18, and 20. So the set of numbers 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, 12, 15, 18, and 20 would be the union of the multiples of 3 or multiples of 5. Okay, so anytime you have or, you combine the two together. If you have and, you find the overlap or the intersection of the two. Symbolically, in case you see it written this way, um, you would write this as even and multiples of three. Okay, so in sets, we use a curve. In logic, sometimes you will also see and written as an upside down V. So either one of those two symbols could be used in a logic statement with and. For or, or is either going to be a U for the union if you are dealing with sets, 
or sometimes in logic you will also see it as a V. So either of these symbols can be used for OR just in case that shows up in your text. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.